Greetings, you guys. Okay, so I wanted to follow up with the community post um, that I did um, like a few minutes ago or so. Um, so it came, okay, so Spirit, you know, when I get something, I share it with you guys and I try to share it in the best of my abilities. So, you know, God was speaking to me and God, spirit, source, speaks to us differently, right? And could speak to us in like a multitude of ways. So for me personally, like last night, so randomly, I don't know how this happens, but when I was getting in the car, my phone is hooked up to the Bluetooth in the car. So weirdly and oddly enough, like this particular song comes on. Why it was weird is because whenever I hook my phone up, like I said, to the Bluetooth or whatever, um, it starts off with the artist or a song that starts off with the letter A, right? Like the first alphabet. Um, so there's a particular song that always comes on when I turn my, um, my Apple Music on, it picks that song because it's the first song on my list as far as like alphabetically. So when I hear it, I'm just like, okay, I already know what I'm getting, it's annoying. But this time it was a, a song that came on by itself that I don't even know how it came on. So I'm like, okay, this is so weird. And um, if you guys know the gospel artist, Fred Hammond, it was a song that came on by him and it's called All Things Are Working. I think it's all things are working for me or it's all things are working you can look up the lyrics of the song and i'm like okay that was like a clear like a clear as day message like okay like you need to stop tripping you gotta trust because if you look at the chorus of the song um of that particular song all things are working um there's a part where he says um all things are working for me, even things I can't see. Your ways are so beyond me, but you said that you would. Let it be for my good, so I'll rest and just believe. So it's like, you know, that reminder when you're doubting or when you're questioning or maybe you're growing through something and it just seems like nothing is working, right? So I'm headed that same night same car drive i passed by a particular car and it had big letters on it almost like it was like a nascar <laughs> type of car but it wasn't a nascar car but the way that it was styled like the the design on the car it had this big um number on it and it was 392 i'm like okay that was a, like because numbers speak to me but if they're bold like that how that was i'm like okay that's something so i looked up the number nine 32 biblically the the coordinates of it and i got deceit and lies i'm like okay it's kind of weird so i'm gonna keep that in mind and i'm like okay what scriptures because i like to look up scriptures too because they give me like downloads as well and i'm like okay um what scripture correlates with this number and i got daniel's three and chapter uh, chapter three and verse 92 which says, he replied, I see four men unbound and unhurt walking in the fire and the fourth looks like a son, looks like a son of God. So, or the appearance of God, right? So if you know that story in the Bible where, um, I think it's King, is it never, never can, oh my God, I can never say his name. Anyway, he um, puts these, these men in the furnace to burn because they refused to go by his command. Um, you know, they just trusted, trusted in God and said, whatever your will be done, whatever we get thrown in this furnace, it is what it is, but we ain't, we ain't doing what the King is saying to do. Right. So they get in the furnace and they're completely untouched and unharmed. He calls them out of the fire. Um, and he acknowledges them as, um, he acknowledges them as servants of the most high. So obviously he knows who they are. So keep, I'm just going <laughs> to go with this as the best of my ability. And I know it's probably like going to go over some people's heads and people are like, whatever is this half is talking about. But, um, 
I don't remember how I got the name Joseph. I'm trying to remember because I think it was bold somewhere else as well. I seen it boldly. I think it was on like a sign or something. Yeah, it was on another car. So, okay, yeah. I pull up in the parking lot to the next store that I went to, the grocery store. And as I'm pulling up, I look to the left of me and there's, or the right of me, and there's a car and it has like, I don't know if it's, uh, business or something but the person's name was Joseph and I was like hmm Joseph Daniel it all correlates because if you guys are familiar with the characters in the Bible um, both Joseph's are connected to dreams so Daniel and Joseph the dreamer are both prophetic dreamers and they were both sought out um, from higher ups or from leaders at the time or the kings or whatever to interpret dreams that their councilmen could not interpret their sorcerers could not interpret right the second joseph in the bible of course is um virgin mary's husband joseph right um jesus's parents right he has a dream he's visited by an angel in matthew what is it matthew first um and 20 through 21 where it says joseph the son of david do not be afraid to take mary your wife for which is conceived in her is the son of the holy spirit so an angel appears to joseph reassuring him not to be afraid to um basically accept this prophecy that was given that mary was going to conceive by immaculate conception right and if we're talking about literal sense I guess that would sound crazy, but on a spiritual level, what she was giving birth to was bigger than she and, and him, right? It was bigger than them. So it was a big prophecy. It was a big thing that they were about to um, bring into being, okay? And not to be afraid of this thing because obviously it would look weird if a man says that he didn't even lay down with his wife to get her pregnant everybody's gonna be like well who got her pregnant eh, that's kind of sketchy you trying to say that she just came up pregnant <laughs> so anyway fast forward if you look up the meaning of the name joseph joseph's name means god will give god will provide right so i'm gonna try to like put all of this together there may be some type of dream that you had because it all goes back to dreams. Each and every person that I mentioned is connected to dreams. So you may have had a dream. One of those dreams most definitely came from source God. Whatever was given to you, it was something that was conceived inside of you, inside of your heart, inside of your mind, inside of your spirit, an indefinite promise of something and it could be some lies and deceit around this thing though, like where there could be confusion. There could be um, things attacking that very thing that you were given, right? The conception of something. And it may seem like it's not going to come to pass because of it, right? But God has the final say so. Source has the final say so, God. So if you look at what the name Daniel means in Hebrew, it means God is my judge. And going back to the story in the book of Daniel, where those four men were cast into the furnace by the king for not going by his command, they came out untouched. So even if whatever your adversity is or adversary is, whether it's a person or a situation that is like the heat is up and it seems like you can't make it through or you're not going to make it through there's going to be something where only god can judge the situation god has the final say so and when you come out unscarred and untouched the adversary or your adversary or the adversity is not going to hold weight or power and if it be that it is a person or people that are causing you um a lot of stress or um pressuring you in some type of way to make you give up or to make you second guess or doubt yourself or people just giving you unnecessary drama and whatever the case may be 
they're going to see that you're not going to be phased or touched by what they thought that they were putting you through or where they thought that they were going to leave you. Because whatever this thing is, like I said, no matter what, out of all the dreams, out of all the ups and the downs and the, the doubts, there's something, one of those dreams that you can bet your bottom dollar by God that it's going to come to pass. I don't know what that is for you. If this is your message, you'll know if it's your message or not. But it is going to happen indefinitely. All things are going to work out. If it's for your good, it's going to work out. And like the song says that I quoted, all things are working. It said, so I'll rest and just believe. You have no choice but to just rest and be at peace and just trust and not be in a place of fear and, and worry because you're giving your power away to whatever the adversity or the adversary is in your situation or your doubts, your fears, whatever, you're saying that you believe and you have faith in those things above having faith and trust in your, your divine creator, right? Your divine source. So I don't know what that is for some of you, um, but I'm going to leave that alone. I hope this resonates and that it touches whomever is meant to. May this be a confirmation or revelation. And as always, you guys, much love. Take it to the divine, most high God, to confirm whether this is a message for you or not and where to place it and how to move forward. So much love. Take care. Peace.